All right, I had a couple of thoughts with regards to squatting and deadlifting and the way that people finish off the exercise at the top of each repetition. Um, if I had one message for people with regards to how they finish the movement, I'd tell them to stop throwing their hips forward very violently and aggressively in the attempts or in the thought of trying to get more glute involvement at the top end range of the lift. So you'll see what I mean by that when somebody goes through a deadlift pattern or a squat pattern, they won't just come up normally like this. You'll see a very aggressive snap through at the top. It's a little bit violent. Now, the idea, once again, is the fact that the glutes will finish off the lift very strongly and powerfully by doing that. But the truth of the matter is, it's only a platform for more injury or more loss of good form when you think about it, because it's easy to fall into an overextension position with the lower back or too much of a posterior pelvic tilt, and neither of those things service uh, the lift more by way of adding more gluteal involvement through the lift. The second thing is, when you think about the physics of these movements, in both the cases of a squat and a deadlift, you've got a vertical movement pattern. So since something is vertically loaded like this, and your hips are moving horizontally, there's no real added value from a really, really strong gluteal contraction in the last 10% of that lift. So you gotta think about that when you're doing the exercise, and just how strong you're coming through at the top and how strong you're contracting. You should have a strong glute contraction through the entire range of motion, but it doesn't have to change that much or that dramatically through that very last little bit. So come up strong, but don't throw your hips forward and don't drive your glutes into it like you're really whipping through a slingshot pattern. There's no need for that, and that's it.